What's up out there? So yesterday I sat down to play. The very first map that I ran was a tier 14 map. Well, for this particular session anyway. So I loaded up a tier 14 map. I go into the Wildwood and I wasn't really expecting a whole lot. I'm kind of wandering around following the trails, you know, doing the thing. And then I came across this trio of like statue things or something like that. I can't remember what it was. It all kind of was a blur. I, I probably should record things more, but you know, you go eight, 12 hours with nothing eventful happening. And then something really cool happens like once. So it's kind of difficult to record everything all the time and, and parse through it all. But I found these three statues and I thought, huh, that's kind of odd, but nothing happened with them. So I had to go and click on each one of them. I figured out, well, okay, there's, there, I think there was not a, maybe a plaque or something, but so I go click on them and I think it opened a portal and you go into that portal and there's the boss fight. So boss fight done. I fought this thing yesterday and one shot at it. So I was like incredibly nervous about it the whole time. I actually, I, cause I, once I got in there, I'm like, this is the boss fight. And I knew where I was. I could have stopped to start and tried to record. I would have had to either fire up my other PC or fire up the recording software on this PC. And I was like, I don't want this game to crash or me to get booted out or anything. Cause you get like one shot at those and then you don't find it forever. Cause I, I've kind of sort of looked for him here and there. Not like really hard trying to find him. Like I'm going to go in all constantly cause I'm still trying to level up. Like I keep running, you know, it takes so long to level up at, in the 90s. Once you're into the 90s, it just takes forever. So you really have to just focus on that and run content that allows you to level up without dying. And I kind of get bored with that and I want to do other things like get currency or do something fun, you know, like delve or something that is entertaining. And I can go through delve a lot, but then I run out of my sulfite. It's it just a it, big loop. So I, that's why I've been trying to figure out what map I can actually run or what tier of maps that I can run comfortably that allows me to level up, not die and kind of get some things going and, and, you know, stuff like that. Well, I find the guy and I kill him. And the whole time I'm sitting there, I'm thinking, don't die, don't die, don't die. And that's, that's like the entire thing was just hold on for dear life and don't die. So I ended up killing him and I ended up coming out and getting this charm here, which is, I don't know what the offering skill or your offerings have 18 increased effect. I don't know what that means. 18% increased effect. But the important thing is this has recovered 2% of life on kill, 2% of energy shield on kill and 2% of mana on kill. So this is more life leech and all that on top of everything else. So what I did and I, I got the primalist one done on this, uh, challenge here. Apparently you only need to get one, just allocate eight wildwood passive points in any of the following. But I did dump out in, or I, a few maps later, I ended up finding both the chick that comes from the yellow wisps and then the one that comes from the blue. So I went over, traded, put my points into the yellow side to get this challenge done. I thought I needed to do all three and I was trying to figure out how I was going to get to the purple guy and make sure the purple and blue were on the same one. But now that I see it's complete, I don't need to go back and do that challenge anymore. I don't care. So I've got this done. I can actually spec into either one of them as I want, because now I've got all the passive points for this ascendancy and it's, it's all good. I, if you switch, it just restarts you from zero and you can reselect all the different points. So what's this one? War cries. I don't care about that. I, I love this. This is definitely it. And this ascendancy right here is what's making my build work because I have no banner skill reservation. I have more mana recovery uh, or more mana reservation efficiency here and life leech and then a bunch more life leech over here. So we've got a ton of life leech and I was kind of looking at my, what is it under miscellaneous here? So life leech total per recovery per second is 600%. And if I'm reading this correctly, it says maximum total life recovery per second from leech is 2530. So that's 68% of my life, I think, is I'm recovering that every second. So that's cool. So that I think that's very cool. What I'm kind of not, I, what I need to do is sit down and look at this because I've got some poison damage. I don't know where that's coming from. I know where impale comes from because I've got impale on, I think on my weapon here. So there's a chance to impale enemies there, 18% chance to impale. And that's directly where it comes from there. But like, I don't know where I'm getting poison damage or bleed damage. Now, maybe the ax gives bleed damage 
the way it is, I'm not sure. I don't know where I'm picking that up from. And I haven't gone through all the different skills. Maybe it's on a skill somewhere. I'm not sure. But the kind of the point with that is I've been finding some of those, uh, what are these things called here? Charms. I've been finding some of these charms that offer maybe some bleed or poison or something like that. And I was, wasn't quite sure which ones I would use. But maybe I do want to take the bleed one. I'm not sure. Maybe I want to bump that bleed up a little bit and swap out this one. But at any, at any rate, so that boss is down and he is done. we got a map we can run over here. Uh, let's see. Do we want to run Vault or Museum? We'll run this one here. I'll just show you how the build's going. I've made zero changes on this. Like, I haven't done anything. This is exactly how it's been. I redid my uh, uh, hideout here. Let's see that. I had to roll to get these things. I wanted, when I saw the advertisement for the new uh, microtransactions for this season, I really wanted these. I don't know why I think they look cool. Well, now we're going to the map. But I think those portals look pretty cool, so I wanted to get that. Oh, this map. Yeah, this map's going to be rough. Uh, let's do, we'll do some Wildwood. So, yeah, the Wildwood part's done. That was very cool. And I've been, tr like I said, I've been trying to find something that's like a happy medium of stuff that I can actually run juice up a little bit uh what's the dark offering do i want that don't know if i wanted that or not oh well guess what here's the boss did we get to do this again my god you just walk right into it and there's the boss all right let's see if we can make this happen again All I remember is that I sat here and poured the gas on. Oh, I also... Uh, let's see here. I also found out Berserk. I forgot I had Berserk on here. Nope. Wrong button. Not that one. Not that one. So this is pretty much how I won the fight. And so the problem with Berserk is it looks so similar to the move, the one I've got on my movement skull, whatever that is, Ancestral Cry or whatever that is. So that felt very similar. We're going to get some... Oh, can't move. Can't move. Got hit by the frogs. Failed a couple of things. That's all right. Oh, we can go up here. Cool. I wasn't sure if you could go up here. I just stayed up, straight up stayed there and beat him down. Can't jump off of there, though. Do I need to take these down? I didn't even mess with these. Because he'd come up and stand by him, and I thought it was like a, a spot you couldn't get to. If you can portal off of that. Can't leap off of it. So does he take more damage down here? He moves around a lot, so i got to move my... my uh, and I am cold. I, I just logged into the game for the first time today. <laughs> this is not the intended fight that I wanted to have. But it is what it is. As long as I keep my uh, totems on him, we're good. So this is actually pretty indicative to how a lot of my fights are going. Do I need to take this Mystic Flesh thing down? See, I can't pour, I can't even, I can't get off of that. Not with Leap, not with, uh, what you call it. Flame dash. I didn't even, like I said, I didn't even take those things down yesterday. I just left them up. Didn't bother. I don't remember if I had Berserk on before that. Because, like, I sat down, I was looking at my build, and I realized that I had Berserk. And, oh, there we go. Now we go into this part. I don't know if I'm supposed to follow these things or what. I feel like you have to follow these because they kind of push you in a certain direction. And I'm not following them. This one's saying going this way, I think. Yeah. So there's the arena again. Okay, part two. Drop my to totems down. Drop them right on him. Fresh those up a little bit. Get him going. 
my movement skill on. See, he hits really hard, but... And I know there's a certain point where you're supposed to move around. Eh, Alright, we didn't make it. There's, I know there's some mechanics you're supposed to like move around and stuff, and I probably did not get those correct. <laughs> However I did it yesterday, I got it correct, and I didn't have to worry about it. Problem solved. Do I get to fight him again? I don't think so. Yeah, see, it's a one and done. Well, maybe you do. Nope, you don't. So anyway, I got that done yesterday. First time I fought him, I got it done, and I was ecstatic to have that out of the way. I don't have to worry about that anymore. So that's done. Uh, I got a, I don't remember what I got out of him. I think I got a ring or something out of him. Maybe an amulet. I think it was a piece of jewelry. I don't remember which one it was. I don't think it was anything I could use for my build currently. So, uh, yeah. Whatever I did yesterday, I did right and I got him killed and that was that. Can we get in here? No, that's the main door. So yeah, that fight was uh, done. I've been kind of avoiding the uh, essence monsters. Some of those get stupid hard when you've... It's hard to tell. Like, some of them are really hard when you've got the map juiced up from the Wildwood stuff. And then some of them aren't that bad at all. So I can never tell which it's going to be, so I just kind of leave it alone. They all... I don't know. I'll kill other stuff first and then come back. Because usually I have to come back running through this area. So extra lighting overwhelms. This might be doable. Yeah, this one will be fine. Done. Done and done. So because I found uh, Berserk yesterday, I now have to figure out how to get Berserk into the rotation. So you basically have to build up this whatever rage or whatever that is on that side there. You have to build that meter up. And then once you hit the meter, this Berserk consumes rage in an accelerating rate. It like really rips through the rage. You can kind of keep it up for a second where it stays alive for a little bit, but then it just, it eventually dies off fairly quickly. I haven't found a way of just keeping it, you know, fully up to date. Did I hit that? Yeah, I think I did. So yeah. Got that one passive done, or got the final passive on that done. I don't know why I'm grabbing all this. You know, I keep thinking I'll, I'll run this high stuff at some point, and then I never do. Oop. Too many buttons. Too many buttons pressed. Uh, so it's telling me I need to go over here. I guess it does show you in the mini-map that you've got something left to do to get in here. I kind of don't like this map, although it's not that hard of a map to run. It's just kind of annoying to come down here and do all this. Nope, I don't want that. I think I just need to open that door, and then we're good. You know, it's kind of wild that some of these maps have their own mechanics. Like this one, you have to unlock various things to get in here. You can't just get into the final boss and blast through to it. Like, there's actual map mechanics you have to complete. I think that's pretty cool, too. Don't know that I'm going to die, but I'll drop a portal anyway. And then let's just mow this guy down. Done! That's it. So... I don't know what tier of map we're on. What is this? Vault? Do I have any in here? Nope, I don't have any. I don't remember what tier that is. What I'm currently at. Actually, you know what? We can tell right here. D-A-U-L-T. So that's uh, tier 16. Apparently. I don't know that I was running the tier... Yeah, I guess I was running the tier 16 version. It's either tier 15 or 16. I don't remember what I just ran on there. I guess it was tier 16. Okay. Alright, well, it's either tier 15 or 16. I don't know. I thought I was running lower tier maps than that. Uh, so, I, yeah, I was showing off my hideout here. I, I wanted this. So, one of the problems that I've had with some of the hideouts that I've had selected before is they're just not big enough. I needed one that had enough room in it to put all the different stuff that I wanted. Like I like this crafting bench, but I've always it's I've always had kind of like a tight space to put the crafting bench in. And I remember I got this microtransaction early because I wanted this crafting bench. I love that thing. 
So I'm not sure I like the way the NPCs are laid out. And then, I, like I said, I, I went through to get these things here, these entrance ways. I thought these were really cool. So I had to get a whole ton of those stupid boxes to get this. Um, but I got those things. And then that let me put this big map device on here. I love this with the little dudes rolling this thing around. And I, I ended up changing these the, the portals out themselves to this fits more in line with that aesthetic. Uh, and I ended up having to grab this hideout too because the cool thing about this hideout is, is it's just a giant square. That's it. There's nothing fancy about it. There's no walls in the way. There's nothing. You got to no elevation changes or weird things to work around. I can just throw this stuff in here, put the cool stuff down. And then, so now I've got this kind of cool hideout, I think. I like it. I like it until the next one comes along. What do we got for unveil for this chick here? I'm not gonna run that. So one thing I noticed is I, I was reading about Syndicate and how to get some of this stuff. I think people were saying, avoid running the, the main Katarina one up here and just let this get all messed up down here and you'll get some unveils. I still have a few unveils left to do. I gotta remember to go to this crafting bench. I still have some unveils left, but not a whole ton. So there's a few but they're like gloves uh, and a couple of these, these two here are from the mastermind. So I do have to fight her again at some point, but like, this is flasks. I had a heart. I'd never got the flasks one from the last league. And I think it's because I'm not getting the right people into the, like, I think you have to dismiss certain ones out of the syndicate and get some other ones back. But I got some flasks, like some gloves and stuff. So because I've basically got all of that, I ended up specking out of all the syndicate stuff here. So I don't have any more syndicate, all that's cleaned up. And I went into Delve. So I came up this way, picked up these Delve nodes here. I'm fully into this, this strong box one here. This is the corrupted ones and the operatives one. That gives you uh, scarabs, so I wanted the scarabs. I don't think I care about any of the others. There's another strong box one somewhere around here. I don't remember where it's at, but. I think, it, yeah, this one here, divination cards might be a good one to go into, but I'm kind of not worried about strong boxes. I mainly wanted this sulfite infusion because you get sulfite every time you complete a map. So I don't want to take that wheel out or every, yeah, every time you kill the boss on a map, you get that uh, sulfite. But then there's some other ones like this one here gives you a chance to contain azurite. So you gain azurite as you go. This one down here has a chance to double them and you might be guarded by sulfite yeah, sulfite hoarding monsters. So you kill the monsters, you get sulfite from them. This one here, you this was kind of interesting. I never really read this before. You gain plus 1% to all max elemental resistances for each Voltaxic sulfite vein or chest found in your map. So if you're running maps with two or three of these things on there, you're actually increasing your elemental resistances with that there. And then you gain 35% increased damage for each sulfite vein or chest found in your map and 15% increased movement speed. So with this on, it's almost in my interest to make sure that I always have a Nico mission going and constantly run him. So I thought that was really cool. Extra damage, extra movement speed and building up the stuff. And then, you know, this gives you a chance to get Nico missions. But then I, I'm kind of torn. Like, I'm still in Beyond. I don't want to take Beyond out. I've watched a few people's videos where they talk about Beyond being integral to juicing maps this league, so I don't want to go out of that. I started going into the Conqueror stuff, and I started going into, like, the Elder and Elder Shaper and the Maven stuff here just a little bit to get the chance to get the map drops, to get, you know, whatever these offer. These seem like good, good things to have. Chance to drop an Elder map. You know stuff like that i kind of wanted to get the map chances but then i was watching somebody else's video yesterday i don't remember who it was oh and i, and I wanted to get into this one here the sextant one here because this gives you some extra map currency when you complete so i need like two more points for that but i started looking at somebody talking about delirium and i might want to run delirium and i want to run abyss too so i just don't have enough points uh to, just to push more monsters into the map there's just not enough points here I still have the one map left to finish, and if I was to come over here to the map device, what I probably should do is start pushing on more of the Maven stuff because you're gonna get six points off of these. Are like last last league, I probably got one or two of these done. I could probably do like the formed, probably get the formed, the twisted, 
maybe the Elder Slayers. I don't know. Some of the, like the, I think the Forgotten one I had trouble with. The Hidden, you got to go, I think, what's that, all uh, Breach and stuff like that. And then the Feared is kind of a mixture of stuff. So I, I don't know. But like the Form, the Twisted, Elder Slayers, those seemed easy to do. So I could probably get three points off of that. And then there's, you know, I, I want to try beating the Maven, but I need to work on leveling. So where I'm kind of running into is I got like so many different directions I want to go to. I need to sit down and focus on one direction. And I think I want to focus on leveling for the moment, at least to hit level 95. 95 in, nope. Where am I going to? Passive tree. Let's go to the right one. I'm really getting sidetracked here. 95 would give me two more points to put in. That's That would be this one with attack speed and another 26% increased damage, and maybe something else. I don't know, we could come over here, maybe relieve some dex requirements with that, because I know I'm supposed to come into this tree. I could look at some other things too, and I, I think I mentioned that in a different video, maybe look at something else, some other place to put some stuff. So, I don't know, anyway. That, that's my dilemma right now, is trying to figure out what to do at this point, because I want to do so many different things, I want to run, and. The one thing that would run well right now is if I run Delve, I can do a lot of XP off of Delve. Delve is really good for XP. So I could get, I'm down at like 130, level 130 or something like that. I keep pushing further down. So I may do some Delve. I I, I gotta make my mind up and I gotta I gotta like focus on one thing at a time and just tr and not try to do 20 things at once. I did try to tinker around with uh, an ax yesterday um, where did I put that? I don't remember which one of these it was. I tried tinkering around with one of these axes. It was an it was an eighty five. Oh, you know what? I meant to click on money. It's this axe right here. I tinkered with this thing. It's a level eighty four. I thought I had an eighty five, but let's see. No, nope. I guess I, I eighty four was the best one that I had. So I tried tinkering around with this a little bit yesterday, and I, I didn't really get anywhere with it. So, I don't know, we'll see. I do have a, a decent stack of currency building up, so we're good there. And I, I'm like rolling in six links, but the problem is every single one of these is corrupted. So I can't do a damn thing with any of them, and I don't have the currency down here to ch roll the colors. So I'm running into that problem. Like, I've got six links now, I just can't use them because I can't get the colors what I need. I need like all red and one green but I keep getting blues mixed in. Like I spent some time the other day trying to craft this up and it just didn't work. So I don't know, we'll, uh, ongoing problem. And the other solution to that is to run, what is it, Cage right here. It looks like Cage is the only map that drops the chains that bind. And I don't have enough of those. If I go to owned and we do chains here, I've got five. I don't have enough of those. That's that's the other thing that I was running yesterday. I was trying to get enough maps around here to get cage, but that means running museum or lava chamber. I hate lava chamber. I don't really care for that one at all. And I think I'm out of museum. That, that This might be like the last museum map that I have. And then I got kind of tired last night and quit running. So I don't know. That's my dilemma right now. It's trying to figure out where the hell to level up without dying and... <sighs> To not get sidetracked on like everything else that I want to do. Anyway, that's what we got for today and that will do it for this video. We will catch you on the next one. Take care.